Hey everybody, welcome to another episode from WholesalerSlyShop.com Bringing you another nymph pattern And uh, this is a, an anchor fly, an anchor fly style pattern Great for when you're running a tandem nymph rig This is going to be my bottom fly uh, You know, I'm going to put a little extra weight on it, make it heavier so it gets me down quicker And, you know, tie it in a couple sizes Tie it with and without the lead weight However you want to do it, whatever your style of fishing is to match your style of fishing, but this is the look we, you want to achieve. So um, this is a Spanish style nymph, just the body style of it, and it's a caddis pattern. You know, it, it's going to catch fish. It's made to catch fish, and it does. So give this fly a try. I'm sure you're going to love it. And the ease of tying it is nice. You know, that's always a plus when there's not a lot of materials can't make a lot of mistakes so that's good especially for beginners so have fun tying this uh, you know put a couple of them in your box because being an anchor fly it's probably the one you're going to lose the most so you know great thing about it is you can tie it pretty quick so here you go here it is in the vise and the material is to tie it All right, guys, here we have the Spaniard in the vise. Very cool looking little jig. Gonna make a great anchor fly. Let's get into tying it. Now, since it's an anchor fly, I'm using a size 10 um, Holsinger Fly Shop jig hook. For the bead, it's a 3.5 millimeter um, black nickel slotted tungsten bead from Firehole. And then I'm gonna put about 10 wraps of 0.015 lead wire on here just for a little bit of extra weight I'm going to push that up there the best I can into the back of that bead all right the next thing we're going to put on is some white nano silk and I love this stuff it has some really cool qualities to it I like the white because it's transparent it has some transparent qualities um, you know, use a razor blade if you have one handy. I just didn't have it handy right there. It is really strong stuff. We're going to wrap this back. And I'll actually wrap it a little bit around the bend of the hook here on this fly. And then the next thing we're going to add is a piece of Kylie's nymph skin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm just going to cut at an angle here. Okay, there we see. I'm going to cut it at an angle like that. And I'm going to start it out up by the head. I'm going to wrap it down and then I'm going to pull that tighter. And it's just going to keep it nice and thin, but it's going to allow me to create a taper as I start back here at the back. So, like I said, I'm going to go just around the bend a little bit. And then wrap back up to the head. And then we're just going to wrap this forward. Now, if I had my arm on my vise here, I would have made this rotary and done it rotary because I could have done it quicker, but... I know a lot of you probably don't have that, so we're just going to wrap it up by hand. And as I wrap it forward, I'm going to start out with a good bit of tension on it. And as I go forward, I'm going to loosen up that tension to make it a little bit thicker. As you see there, it gets thicker and thicker. It has a nice taper to it. And then I'm just going to tie it off right behind the bead. A couple good wraps. I'm going to pull it tight so it snaps down in there when I'm done. And then we're going to add the dubbing. And you can see they're putting that white underneath there. It showed through. And it even has a little bit of transparent. You can actually see the wire in it. It actually kind of looks like the guts of the fly. So I like that a lot using that nano soap for that reason. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Scud and Shrimp Gray from uh, Whitlock Pattern Blends. And it does not take much at all. Just two or three wraps on this collar. And that's all I want. So, just get that on there. And I'm going to, when I do it, I'm going to come back a little bit because I'm going to put a tiny hot spot at the front here. And for that hot spot, I'm going to use some shrimp SLF uh, prism dubbing. And again, not much, just enough to get it on there and brush out and make a nice little buggy collar. So, Put that on there, about two, three wraps. Gonna tie it off. 
You can leave it like that if you want. We're just going to make another whip finish. I leave that color like that if I want to. Or take a little dubbing brush, a little piece of Velcro or something. And I'm just going to lightly, lightly tease this out. Just to give it a little bit of bugginess. And there you see the Spaniard. I really love the looks of this fly. It's a natural looking fly. And it's heavy. It's going to be a great point fly. Alright guys, thanks everybody for watching that. I hope you like that fly. Like I said earlier, it's a really easy one to tie. Only a couple materials. And, um, you know, mess around with it. Change the collar color if you want. Uh, you may even want to put a little hot spot with thread. That's one thing this uh, Kylie's nymph skin is very translucent. So if you want to put like in the middle of your fly, put a little pink roll, couple wraps in there. That will show through and give something just something to catch the eye of the fish. You know, uh, play around with different things like that. Have fun, experiment. Let me know how you do if you did. Drop a comment down below in the comments. Um, in the description link or in the description list below the video here. You'll find the links to all the material on the website. If you'd like the, any of the materials to tie this, you can just drop down in there. Go straight to our website. And uh, we appreciate you guys supporting us. I can't thank you enough for all the support you give us and the great comments and the great reviews. So um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Until next time when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.